Good afternoon and a very warm welcome to the Mugello circuit in Italy. Myself, Matt Burton, and Simon Crafer are here to talk you through a super Saturday afternoon of qualifying action here in Mugello. But we're on air slightly earlier uh, than scheduled for a very special reason. As you can see, these are live pictures coming to you from Mugello here. The famous circuit nestled in the heart of the Tuscany Mountains as we get set to retire, officially retire, the legendary, the iconic the number 46, so synonymous with that man there, Valentino Rossi, the nine times world champion, of course, who ended his 26-year Grand Prix career at the end of 2021. He's joined on the grid for this very special ceremony by Stornet CEO, Mr. Carmelo Espeleta. On the left-hand side of your picture, of course, FIM president, George Viegas. So many riders have come to join in this special ceremony. A man who's very much part of the VR46 Academy, part of the 2022 MotoGP World Championship battle. Pekka Bagnaia is just looking out of our commentary box window. The fans have been singing Valle, Valle for more than an hour here now. You can hear the great reception that Valentino Rossi is getting. He's a hero in these parts, of course, a hero to millions of fans all around the world. And this is the very special moment then when for, official, for officially the number 46 is retired for Valentino Rossi. Nine world championships, 115 career wins, 235 podiums. He won the hearts of millions of fans of all ages, all around the world. Special moment here for Valentino Rossi. He gave us so many memories to cherish from his Grand Prix debut back in 1996. Of course, still very much involved in the MotoGP World Championship. Team manager of the Mooney VR46 Ducati team. Doesn't matter where we've gone so far this year, Simon. Every racetrack we've been to, there's still the army of yellow fans. He's still loved and adored by millions around the world and this is a very special ceremony for him here at his beloved Mugello a circuit which back in the day he made his own let's have a quick listen to this il tifo e le emozioni di tutti questi anni qui al Mugello cioè ti ringrazio noi ma sei pazzo nove vittorie gare pazzesche eh, ci ringraziamo a vicenda dai perché comunque il pubblico del Mugello è stato sempre emozionante e ieri sera parlavamo con, con i nostri amici dicevo che il, il giro della domenica mattina nel, nel warm up il primo giro della domenica mattina del Mugello è una delle emozioni più grandi per eh, un pilota di moto quindi, quindi grazie è, è stato bello farlo, farlo qui peccato eh, potevamo correre altri eh, tre o quattro anni dai quattro anni e eh. che eh. <ride> vedi e che mi, 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 mi fa male la schiena mi fanno male le ginocchia quindi da, da lì ho capito che ero vecchio <ride> non sarai mai vecchio però, però è stato bellissimo grazie, grazie a tutti grazie, vale grazie Jorge so Valentino grazie, Rossi grazie. then addressing his Gatman adoring Rossi fans Rossi. here in Mugello Sam, you Andiamo. can never underestimate what that man grazie contributed mille. to the sport that we love and this is a, a great tribute from Dorna and the FIM the official retirement ceremony of Valentino Rossi's famous distinctive number 46 there'll never be another one like him yeah I've met I'm not sure how I feel about the retiring numbers that's quite cool it looks real doesn't it in the valley there above the circuit um but you know there's been some good arguments put up why number 46 is being retired and it's probably the first time i've buckled a little bit you know <laughs> because this man has done so much for our sport um i mean he completely won me over in the beginning because of his race craft you know how he can he just took it to another level and uh like just one little example is the things he could do by um remember bruno i'm not sure what year danny pedrosa was clearly the fastest man on a repsol honda he i just thought valley hasn't got a chance here he's gonna uh, danny's gonna march off into the distance and uh valentino got the start and made it really hard to get past and every time danny overtook him i thought this is it he's gone but valentino on the next corner would stuff him again and did that to him and broke his rhythm and beat him and i'm like the race crowd 
craft was phenomenal and he did it the thing to me he did it he won world championships with one two fives 252 strokes on dunlops then got on a 500 like they were beasts you know and on Michelin's, which are which were less forgiving, you know, less feel. And that's what they were famous for back then, you know, with the with the uh, with bikes with no traction control, no safety <laughs> aids at all. And then he won, almost won, his first year on it. I, they didn't expect him to, but he almost did, you know. And then he went thousand four stroke one, eight hundred four stroke one, um, then the th back to thousands. This is on Michelin. Then to Bridgestone's one, uh, you know, well, sorry, not in that order, but he won on everything and uh, then he did it also as he got older because you expect the younger guys with talent and motivation you know work ethic to do it like he had but then he did it when he was older as well and it was truly amazing he's like a chameleon right into up to up to kind of 40 knocking on 40 years old which i have not seen before he's awesome and then you can talk about personality yeah these are amazing scenes emotional scenes as bernard anxio of course he was a mechanic for valentino at both honda and with Yamaha. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, the official ceremony completed, the number 46, which was not just a number in MotoGP, was it? That number uh, came to symbolize MotoGP. It was a number that was the calling card for MotoGP. So many fans have loved following that number 46 over the last quarter of a century or so. We've just seen how much the fans miss him and love him here in Mugello. He was such a fantastic ambassador for MotoGP, such a great world champion over that 26-year period. He contributed so much to the sport. He drew in a, an army of new fans. Thankfully, so many of them have stuck around to watch the current new stars emerging in the MotoGP World Championship. But that number for so many people, so many millions all around the world, will symbolise what MotoGP was all about over the last quarter of a century or so. And then, Matt, I've got to talk about personality. I think that was the thing that won over most of his fans, not just his racecraft and winning, but his personality. Uh, I think his parents obviously did an awesome job. Uh, like a hippie-like Graciano father, you yeah. know, that's been seen sleeping in his car at the racetrack, you know. A lovely guy. I, I, I met, got to meet him a long time ago, my first year in World Championship. And, and then... Um, uh, I don't know his mum, but they obviously did an awesome job and he's intelligent and he knows how to deal with people of all ages and like I've said before, uh, make people, wherever he, he contacts people, he ma he's got this ability to make them feel special and he even gets that across on the screen, which is awesome. Yeah, a great honour for a great rider. Of course, we love him for everything that he gave to MotoGP since 1996. And we do miss him, but great to see he's still heavily involved in the MotoGP World Championship. Valentin, of course, we wish him success in his new career as both a father and a car racing driver. But there will never be another Valentino Rossi. We thank him for all the great memories he gave us over the years. And what a perfect way to kick off a sunny Saturday here in Mugello with the official retirement of number 46. It has been now officially retired retired and that will now forever mean Valentino Rossi fantastic scenes here then in Mugello we're going to take a short break myself and Simon of course don't go anywhere because coming up in about 60 seconds time one minute we've got a thrilling and nail-biting full afternoon of qualifying action coming your way and FIM NL Motor E World Cup race action as well those fans have got all of their mementos their memories of the photos and seeing that great ceremony in person here with Valentino Rossi but we'll be back very very shortly for Moto3 qualifying. Thanks for joining us in that very special ceremony here in Mugello. The number 46 officially retired for Valentino Rossi in MotoGP.